Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day six. Why was it loading like day 21 or something? Of the Leco Day Challenge, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And of course, we've done this, I guess, recent enough for me to have this. Uh, 1235 maximum profit and job scheduling. We have end jobs where every job is scheduled to be done from start time supply to end sub time supply, obtaining a profit of profit supply. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Is it Friday? Maybe a Saturday, depending on where you are. But I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Have had a great weekend, uh, you know, starting into it. But yeah, you're given the start time, end time, and profit away. We turn the maximum profit you can take such that there are no two jobs up in the subset of overlapping job range. So, I mean, this is, um, in a way, this is uh, um, max pa I mean, we kind of talked about this yesterday a little bit. Um, though, obviously, that problem, at least not the N-log N way, um, uh, um, the N-log N way doesn't do it, but this problem is just longest path in the DAG, right? Um, and of course, you can kind of reason it very easily, uh, very quickly. Oops, I'm trying to bring a paintbrush. That's why I will paint. Uh, and let me put it on screen real quick. Uh, it's on screen? Nope. How do I do 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 do? Okay. All right, now to find a pencil or pen. All right, yeah. So basically, now you can think about you know having a timeline, right? A very crappy, not straight line timeline. All right, whatever. Close enough. Man, this is terrible. I mean, not this. I mean, by this, I mean my joy. All right, close enough. This is as good as it gets, right? And then you have all these bobs uh, of things, and they cannot overlap. But you know the way that you can think about all these bobs, of course, is just creating a path of of some weight right and then basically you're just trying to hop from the beginning to some some paths uh of course this could be zero because of just no uh no uh uh time chunk i forget what it's called schedule uh you know and so forth right um yeah so that's basically the idea is that now you're trying to get from the beginning all the way to the end in the maximum uh path and from that, there's a uh, there's a straightforward-ish, uh, and or at least I don't know if straightforward is the right word, but it's just um, uh, the textbook uh, n square. Uh, in this case, n is five times ten to the fourth, so you're gonna have to be a, a little bit smarter. And the way that there, um, there are a couple of ways you can make it smarter. Um, and depending on the day, I sometimes do the binary search one, and sometimes I do the other one. But, uh, let's see. But you could kind of think about it in another way. Um, by having a little bit of another dot. And that is that... Um, hmm, actually, let me bring back up the thing real quick. Uh, let's say we have this thing, right? Ooh, this thing. And then the idea here is that now... You want to go from left to right. And then what does this mean, right? That means that... Well, when you go left to right... You can update that from here. I mean, there are two ways you can think about. Um, you know, you, you, you. I mean, they're, they're symmetric in a way. So you can think about maybe just that when you're here, you say, okay, what is the maximum? You know, what is the maximum path to this point, right? You know, let's say we are at here. Yeah, exactly here. What is the maximum path to this point? And then now we can say that we take account the weight and then we can say that now we know here update the max if it is indeed the max right it would just be the max plus the weight the uh weight sub one and then so forth as you sweep from left to right and of course you also update it here which tells you to go update it here and stuff like that i think that should be uh that should be pretty good yeah right Yeah, and uh, and the actual implementation, I think it doesn't really, um, or they're like a, a number of, I was going to say it doesn't matter, but I mean, obviously it matters. It's just that as long as the, um, you care about, oh, let me take this out of the way. <laughs> um, it's just that there are a couple of ways to do it, and yeah, as long as you, obviously as long as you do it correctly, it doesn't really matter which one. Um, 
And as a result, we want to sort everything by the start time, right? So let's just zip them up. Start time, end time, profit. So for SEP in zip of whatever, we can maybe put it in... Um, yeah, we could put it in events maybe. I just call everything events because I'm... I don't know. Uh, we could say events dot uh, append s. EP, I guess in this case we can also just convert the zip into a list, but maybe this is more explicit. I don't know how I feel about it. But then we can sort the events from left to right, right? And then now. Now there are a couple of ways you can do it. Um, but. But the way that I'm going to do it today, I, I mean, I don't know if it's the best, but it's just that I'm going to use a, a heap. A min heap, right? So then now, um, yeah, and then now for SEP in events, then now we can say uh, best is equal to zero, and then maybe, um, yeah, maybe best is equal to zero is already good enough. And then now, because this is already sorted, that, um, that means that S, which is the starting time, is going to be in, um, in, increasing order and then here we can do we can push heap we can push um you know we, we want to push the heap uh the end time and then the profit plus the current best right because best contains the best up to the current time and then we just kind of push it into the heap but before that we have to start right um and what does that mean we have to start um that means that we want to get off the heap whenever we can so uh, while um, length of heap is greater than zero and the first element of the heap um the first element of that if that is um greater than or equal to s that means that the end point of a previous event is before or at the same time as this endpoint, then now we can pop it off. And then now we can do best is equal to max, um, the current best, and unless p is negative, this should always be. Well, that's not true, I guess, actually. Um, I take that back, but then it'll be this. And then now you can also, um, if I know how to pop it, and then pop it off. And that's pretty much it, except for we have to do one more loop at the end. Um, it's either that or you can maybe just do a add a um, add another event. Maybe that adding another event is easier, right? You just basically have an infinity, infinity, and then zero or something. Uh, and then now basically the last event will just pop everything and then push another thing. But then you, you know that doesn't really matter, right? And now we can return best, and that should be good, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I probably win this in a lot of different ways, um, but yeah, this is going to be n log n, I think. It should be, because basically there's the sorting, and also this thing um, is, you know, each item is going to be pushed in a heap once, and also pop once, so each item is going to be n log n, and of course everything together is just going to be n log n. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Just with double check that I didn't block it. Uh, let me see. I did it. Huh. How about I have so many? Did I just do it the end square way before? Hmm. No, I didn't. I saw it. The events. Why did I do it this way before? Hmm. Hmm. Is this end square? Uh, go do, 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 do. I don't know the way I did it, it seems awkward and now I did it with binary search well I mean also this was like five years ago now well, not yet five years ago but pen I solved this with binary search as well huh oh yeah no th this one I knew th I knew how to do it that way but I don't always do it that way though and then this is um I guess this is we did the same thing except for I put the defense in a thing instead and last time 
Oh, I did a heap that way instead, and I also did a heap of fight. Hmm. That's great. Well, okay, I mean, I don't know how. Oh, I, di I did it in one event, one heap for both the starting and the end. Okay, okay. And today I did it in two heaps instead. Oh, well, I mean, sorting is not a heap, but basically, yeah, we have two ordering things. I don't know. Like I said, there are a couple of ways you can think about this and doing it, but as long as you have the um, understanding, which is why I focus on that a bit more, uh, it should be okay. That's all I have for this one, though. That's all I have for tonight. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.